Hello Minecraft fans! Welcome to our very own world called Rivenborn. You can call me Pat. Let me introduce this series and tell you a little bit more about what I wanted to do with it and also give you a very quick tour. So we're starting here at spawn. I left this my very first crafting table. Oh the nostalgia it brings back so I could remember where spawn was and as you can see we started off in a tall birch forest. I'm very happy about that. As you can see, we're playing on a vanilla Minecraft world. Um, basic textures, completely survival mode. I think I set it to easy because the monsters were killing me on normal. Yeah, so as I'm sure you can already guess, very high level of Minecraft play here. <laughs> I have a stone axe for crying out loud. But never mind that, let me give you the tour. What I wanted to do with Rivenborn is create um, a bunch of villages, a bunch of little hamlets and city-states, uh, just fill this world up with habitation. Because of course Minecraft worlds start off very empty, and along with that I wanted to create a story. Maybe a, like a recent event or a tale of heroics and adventure that we are building into the world and discovering as we build. Uh, so it starts here, in a nondescript cave right under Spawn Mountain, <clears throat> where there's an ancient secret. That's right, a map room. More than half done, I might add. This took forever to create, but it's not complete yet. As you can see, I've got a huge forest here. This whole part is birch forest. And including this part, I have that somewhere. Oh, it's off. <clears throat> and we started right there. And I have the large biomes on because I want it to seem more realistic how far apart these different uh, places are that we're going to create. So what I've started right here is an elfin village. I don't have a name for it. I don't have the story yet. I just have the color scheme. It's going to be mostly pink. And we'll go visit that in a little bit. But I was thinking maybe put an elfin village here, maybe uh, like a village of trolls over here in this, this covered forest, and then a little bit further up in the mountains, maybe the dwarfs have built a village. And maybe as we go along and build, we discover sort of a story of somebody who uh, passed through this way. Maybe he was born a humble farmer, or maybe she was raised uh, in a rich school and decided to leave to pursue her own adventures. Um, whatever the case may be, we will figure it out and where it happened. And like I said, I'm not exactly a pro player at Minecraft, but that will be obvious. In fact, I was playing it on the Xbox Bedrock version, and the combat is much easier. There's this like sweeping attack on the Java version that I just don't know what's up with that. For a while, I was thinking that I was fighting with wooden tools. That's how awful that was. So as you can see I've got pink sheep here. Hello pink sheep. And this is going to supply most of the roofing material for our elven village which I'll show you soon. Uh, when I first created this I got a few stacks and I thought this is great. I've got plenty of materials to build. I don't know a small medium-sized village. And I started work on the elven boathouse as you'll see soon. And I couldn't even finish it before I ran out of pink wool and stone and dark oak. I was woefully unprepared. So let's head that way now and I'll show you what I've got and tell you a little bit about what I was planning on building in that area. Let's go a little faster. Oh, and up ahead we see our very first build. Sort of an unfinished uh, Elvin, I'm thinking boathouse because of course it's under over the water, kind of like a harbor, but maybe maybe like a community place. I was thinking some fireplaces in here. As you can see, we've got the nice pink ceiling. We got this sort of tall arching design, which I think is very Elvin, sort of organic, unlike maybe a more square, rough building like an industrial building that humans or short-minded dwarves might think of <clears throat> and how does that look that looks pretty good let me say it took me a while to get the arches correct 
I was playing around in uh, Creative World to get that right. Uh, of course, these uh, supports here don't go all the way down yet. But this is just a rough plan right now. But I do love the way the dark oak and the pink look together. And I'm even adding in some windows on the side to kind of lighten the place up. And also, uh, I ran out of pink wool. How many times am I going to mention that? I wonder. So, of course, one building isn't enough for a whole village. So let me show you the rest of it. We have here diorite blocks marking where I think the pathways should go. And it's, a, like I said, a rough estimate. And it's getting dark, so let me show you my pink bed and sleep. Because I cannot handle the mobs, even in easy mode. Whew. Safety. The other thing that I wasn't ready for is lightning turning all my pigs into pigmen. Pro tip for the day, if you have a pig farm, put a roof on it, even when you're just preparing. Because it took me, I don't know how long, 30 minutes of cursing, trying to get the pigs into that darn hole, and then I come back to feed them, and they're all zombies. <laughs> so, uh, always put a roof on your pig farms. This has been a pro tip with Pat. Thank you very much. So, we're walking up a path here, and it goes up to a mysterious mountain that I think should probably be part of mm. the lore of this place. Sort of a weird form that I found here, actually, after I decided where I wanted this village to be. Um, and so we'll see if we can work with it, but that's it up ahead. You can see sort of, yes. And it's mob spawn central too. I've got to look out for creepers. Um, but it's sort of teetering here and it looks awful, but instead of removing it, I think maybe we'll just kind of terraform it and see if we can work it into our plans. But anyway, I was thinking the mountain road might go up here and this might be the main way to get to the village besides by boat of course, which is what we're working on now. So let me run back down here and tell you about the other buildings that I've got planned. We have, of course, plenty of pigs. They are, in fact, pigs and not sheep on fire, as some people might at first think from a distance. Understandable, of course. They do kind of glimmer. Here we have this strange sort of pit that was already built. It was already dug out of the cliff here, and I don't like it. But instead of changing it, I was thinking maybe build a tower here. Maybe a watchtower or, or a library, maybe. That would be pretty cool. A library tower in the corner of the village where everyone goes to escape and read a good book. All right, so this pink block marks the town hall, and I think that'll be the first big build of maybe episode two or three because, of course, I've already started the boathouse. And I'm really excited about this. This will be the center, and it'll kind of branch off in four directions. And one of those directions, this way, I'm thinking is going to lead towards, I like a gazebo out in the middle of the pond. They're very natural, these elves. They like their ponds and their trees, and they like to build around the water instead of digging it up and filling it in and making it do what they want. You know, standard elf stuff here. And actually, I don't have anything planned over here, but it could be good. This will be the river that takes traders and voyagers and adventurers here to the Elfin City. And one of the first sights they see as they paddle their canoes up towards this mysterious pink village is this wonderful harbor house. Boathouse dock? I really don't know what to call it. I understand a boathouse is sort of where you lock up boats, and that's not what this is. Maybe I'll have an entrance down here. I like that. I like that idea. And then it'll come up through here and, and wind up inside. <clears throat> but for now, let me grab some blocks. Oh, I brought my pumpkins with me. That's handy, of course. Let me add to this and finish this wall. Uh, finish the windows here. Thank you very much. It's not going to be open to the weather. Um, put in some doors. What happened to my doors? And I'll check back with you when that's done. And we're back. Look at that. Is that elfish or what? Elfin or elvish? That's the question. I think one of them is like United Kingdom's English and one... Well, none of them are English, exactly. Anyway, leave, um, leave your choice in the comments. Elfin or elvish? Or elvin? Or elfish? Yeah, a lot of choices there. Anyway, how does it look? The exterior is complete. Uh, I actually had to put torches up there, 
because there's some spots that I'm pretty sure are mob spawnable. And the last thing we need is some kind of creeper chimney sweep blowing up the ceiling and crashing all the parties we're going to hold inside our boathouse. Our elfish parties in our elven boathouse. I don't know. You decide. So I want to work more on the balcony out here. Uh, hmm. I need some. I don't have any. Need some fence posts here, just to add some detail. Maybe some buttons. I notice I haven't put any buttons on this thing, and stone buttons are great. Maybe I'll do that on the outside. Birch buttons. They just add detail to your build, and that's kind of nice. Uh, anyway, I want to make these pylons go all the way down, so they're not just floating, and so that they're not just built onto the dirt. That looks horrible. A stone shovel to the rescue. Uh, it could probably get away with uh, with iron or or something better, diamond tools, and I sure will eventually uh, when I get around to more mining. But I've had some really bad luck. I even had to look up whether things like diamonds and lapis lazuli even spawn in large biomes because I found nothing when I went down below, and that is why I look so poor because I am. I want to build some stairs up here, and since the way kind of levels off here, I'll probably have the stairs go this way. Let's see what I can do. Maybe down like this. While I'm doing this, I wanted to ask, what should the name of our elven, elfish village be? I don't know. I'm going to say elven, I think, from now on, uh, and and just change it if you don't like that. Uh, what should the name of our elven village be? Uh, I haven't come up with a name. Rivenborn is the name of the world in general. So you can use that for inspiration, but I don't know. It should be different than that, of course. I wanted to talk about sort of the style of building here that the elves employ or that I've chosen for the elves. And of course, I'm thinking that they like to build around nature. Um, and not through it, except when it comes to dirt. Apparently they don't have much regard for dirt, because I just plowed right through this in order to build. There was a big hill here, and uh, they didn't care about that. But I was also thinking that they they live forever, right? Standard Tolkien elves. They uh, have immortality. They don't die except in battle or disease. Well, they don't have to get disease or anything. So they don't care how long it takes to... Uh, walk around their village, for instance. They don't need efficient routes. They don't need more than one door in and one door out. And so that's sort of why it's closed off here. They like to look out at all the nature, but if they need to exit quickly, well, there's just no doing anything quick in the elvish village. Elfish. Elvin. I don't know what I'm saying, folks. And see, had to get some more slabs and forgot the recipe. That is just that. High quality of minecrafting you can expect to see here on this channel. Welcome to Rivenborn. And the exterior is done. What do you think about that? Can't really see the pink from here. But uh, of course I finished up the stonework on the front and it's really plain. It's really boring right now but I'm going to come back when I have more vines and add in some moss. The idea is this has been here for like centuries. Well, probably decades at least. And uh, the elves don't feel uh, like keeping it up. They've got more, less important things to do. So uh, moss has grown around there. And, you know, it's part of nature. So they don't mess with it. Um, and I'll probably put some boats down here. And like I said, an entrance maybe to this lower level that leads inside the building. But that's more of an interior thing. And so I can say with some certainty that the exterior is done. Especially, let me get a side view here. Especially when you look at it from this side. Isn't that just beautiful? I love the pink color. I know a lot of builders don't use bright colors very much. And it's true, there's not really a place for them, especially in this kind of world, where you're trying to make you know, a realistic storyline around it. But I thought the elves would never shy away from all that nature has to offer in the way of dyes and that sort of thing, and, you know, if they have to live here for eternity, because they never die, they're going to be looking at it, and they probably want some color, they probably want it to look pretty good, 
So that's why they've chosen pink for their roots. And never mind that it's wool. We'll call it, you know, shingles or something. I should probably change that. I don't know what happened there. Oh, well, we'll decide what to do with this pink block later on. You can vote in the comments, hashtag keep the pink block. <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm just kidding. But I think that'll do it for now, for the boathouse exterior is complete. Our very first building in the wonderful village of whatever we come up with to name it. <clears throat> I'd like our houses to just kind of fit in between all of the trees uh, so that from a distance you can kind of see there's something out, out there, but you're not really sure how big or how many buildings there are because they're not close together and there's trees everywhere. That's the idea. So let me see if I can get a distance shot here. Oh yeah, there's something peeking up just above the trees over there. It's very pink. And that just kind of lures people in to, to visit the elves here. <clears throat> well, I think that about does it. So let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions, especially for the interior, like I said, fireplaces, maybe some furniture, although elves are not famous for their lounges um, and, and probably some stairs, uh, maybe on either side. Yeah, probably either side that go down to the docks so that villagers can come from far and wide to trade with the elves and sleep in their warm beds and all in all enjoy their pink architecture. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me, and I hope you come back and see what else we do in our very own world of Riven Rivenborn. What do you think about this? I don't know. It looks pretty, pretty bad.